everyone, my name is Sarah Seifek and I'm an associate editor with Workforce Magazine. Thank you so much for joining us today for our ongoing coverage of the fifth anniversary of the Affordable Care Act. Today I'm joined by Carrie Stevens, Managing Counsel at Cigna. Carrie, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me, Sarah. Glad to be here. Awesome. So the Affordable Care Act has really presented you at Cigna with two big challenges, educating your own workforce and then helping your customers. So starting with starting internally, what did you do to prepare to make sure that your employees were knowledgeable about the legislation? Sure, that's a great question, Sarah. And I think it's great that you are covering the fifth anniversary of the Health Care Reform Act. And at Cigna, we put um, a team into action right away as far back as 2010. We knew that this was going to have major impacts not only for us as an insurance and a healthcare administrator, but also for our key clients, which are employers of all shapes and science, sizes, and our customers, which include em employees and individuals. So what we did is we got a team together and we thought about what do we need to do not only to stress internal compliance, but also And everybody, how do we help them make this law manageable? So what we've done is we've created a whole host of internal educational resources and an external facing resources. And I'll talk more about those today. But what we've really done is we've set out um, a goal to stress a lot of key components. We definitely stress compliance. We've been hitting our goal at 100% compliance. And we also help our key stakeholders be compliant. We like. And what the law means but we help them function in this highly regulated environment we stress education so like you said that was one of our key challenges which is you know how do we educate around this incredibly complex complex law but anyone who's work working with Cigna can be rest assured that they're working with some of the high, most highly educated folks in the industry around the law through the work we've done and then we've also stressed communications uh, we have a lot of communication We want to make sure that's on point and on time and delivered the best way possible. And then we also stress strategy. So we internally, we're always strategizing around what we need to do about the law. And we help our clients and customers strategize around what they need to do. And then finally, advocacy. Cigna is out in the forefront in Washington and with the states. And we're viewed as the most, one of the most highly trusted advisors around what it means um, to be involved in healthcare reform and what it means Great. So obviously you're very prepared on your end. I was hoping we can speak next a little bit about so the specific challenges that employers face that they came to you with. So example wise, what kind of problems were you solving? Sure. So the challenges have certainly evolved as healthcare reform itself has evolved. and new, uh, new forms of benefits that needed to be offered. And so there were a lot of questions coming from employers around that. A good example would be the summary of benefits and coverage. Um, all of a sudden, employers and plan sponsors had to make sure that they were communicating what their plans offer in a new and different way that they haven't been doing before. So Cigna was at the forefront of that, and we were actually helping our employer um, clients through that process and helping those Of questions around that and employers wondering you know if they're subject to the employer mandate and if they are subject to the employer mandate what does that mean how do what do they have to do what do they have to report and we're still very much in the thick of that right now and then going forward there's going to be new challenges as new issues are on the horizon so for example the Cadillac tax that's up and coming and we're getting a lot of questions now because studies show almost up to 60% of employers and, and health plans are going to be impacted by that, well, about that provision of health care reform, which is right around the corner. 
Excellent. So I was hoping then we could just finish off with maybe some examples of the tools that you that you provide to employers. What kind of things are they using that you have put together? Great. So uh, the healthcare reform consulting and communications team that has built an excellent platform from the ground up. starting back in 2010 and we have a lot of great resources and the first I'd like to tell you about is our informed on reform website that's a website and on there anyone out there in the public can check out that website and find a whole host of information about all aspects of health care reform so that includes articles it includes toolkits um, it includes an info infographic tool called health care reform for you um, these have received industry-wide awards and they've been really effective another great program is our public facing and on reform webinar series uh, we we host them periodically and those are open to the public and we get over 2,000 plus participants on those calls and we have over a 90 percent satisfaction rate and so we bring together our internal experts to um, talk about a specific topic we, we've talked about all different sorts of issues like reporting um, we'll talk about the Cadillac tax we'll, we'll talk about the employer mandate but I do encourage folks out there to listen into those those free webinars through our informed on reform website uh, in addition, we have, can bring to them, you know, experts in the field reform issues to, to talk with employers or specific customers or clients or broker partners about specific provisions on, on the law. And just to give you a sense, we have over 25,000 visitors to our, our website every year. Like I said, we have over 2,000 participants in our um, web series. And then we're always receiving requests to do webinars. Um, Great. Well, it seems like you guys have been doing a lot to help employers get to this point and will continue to help going forward as more aspects of the legislation continue to roll out. Carrie, thank you so much for your time and for being with us here this morning. You're welcome. Thanks, Sarah. We appreciate it. Have a good day, everyone.